The Integrated Financial Management and Information System, IFMIS, has faced integrity issues and criticism since its launch two and a half years ago. Cases of password loss and duplication of user profiles were cited. But the government has defended the system as a way of enhancing transparency and accountability in public funds use monitoring and management. Already 5.9 billion shillings has been spent in setting up and upgrading the system. In the current financial year, the IFMIS directorate has been allocated a billion shillings. We want to enhance the security of the system. We want to continue building capacity of the users of the system. We want to actually upgrade also uh, our servers and ensure that uh, they are uh, running up to speed. And uh, all this uh, to ensure that uh, there is efficiency in, in running the system. That is the money we have asked for for this financial year. Even though all counties are connected with broadband through the National Optical Fiber Backbone Infrastructure, NOFB, the county governments have been hit with downtime affecting operation of IFMIS. We have even done a survey uh, in terms of connectivity at the county level. And connectivity has been enhanced and we have actually even introduced backup connectivity methods whereby we have even given counties modems that in the event there is a breakdown in the normal fiber that link, yes, then you can now use your modems to, 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 to go on with the transaction. The Council of Governors has also raised concerns about lack of capacity when it comes to the use of the system. We realized the need to have continuous capacity building of IFMIS users. Actually, one of the main objectives was to take care of people at the county level because they would be the one coming in and we were training a number of people at the same time. You can imagine 47 counties, each county with about 20 users. The turnover of staff at the county level has been very high. Nonetheless, Ocheng has rubbished claims that more than 7 billion shillings will be spent in upgrading the system. We keep on asking ourselves, where does this 7.6 billion come from? In our financial statement, the one we have requested for the year, is a billion shilling. Ronald Willie, News Our Business.